In this video, we will be exploring your trip dashboard and sidebar. When you first log into your Travify account, you'll see your trips list. This is your trips dashboard. You'll always be able to see all the trips you're working on. You can also create new trips by clicking the new trip button in the top left hand corner. But you can also easily filter through trips that are currently in your trips list. You can see by owner. You can also filter by what is a proposal and what is an itinerary. You can also filter by dates and see which one is upcoming, any trips in the past and in progress. You're also able to quickly look up your archived and unarchived trips below. And finally, you'll also see the filter by status option. This is a way that you can set up statuses so that way you can organize your trips in a nice manner. You also can click on any trip and this will expand the sidebar. Now in the trip sidebar, you'll see a lot of options. I'm going to walk through these. So we have automatically, you'll see how many views this trip has had as well as trip activity. You'll get a good overview look of all the activity, but in this drop down, you can also just view certain activity points if you'd like as well. You can also choose tasks and automations, so that way you can view which tasks or you can set up tasks and automations for this specific trip. You can also view the chat. If you're chatting with your client, you'll be able to quickly view the chat here and you can also reply or chat a message to them. You can see who has been part of this trip or you can also go ahead and just quickly send them the trip itinerary from here just by clicking that send button in the right. You'll also be able to view feedback. Once this trip is complete, your client will receive a feedback form if you have it turned on and that will appear here. So you'll always be able to come back into this trip sidebar and view the feedback. Now, you also can do some high level things like if you click edit, this will take you into the trip builder. So when you click edit, it brings you into that trip builder like so. Now, I'm going to take a step back again. So I'm going to click on the trips button in the top left hand corner. Now I'm going to click on that trip once more. Now we're back in the same view. You can also click the preview button, which will give you a quick look of what this trip looks like for your clients. You also can click the copy button to create an entirely new copy of this itinerary, or you can also choose to archive this trip. Once it's archived, you can always find it in your archived folders over here on the left hand side. The last couple things you can do here is you can also go ahead and change the owner if you're on a team by clicking this drop down menu. You can change the type of this trip to a proposal. You can also change the status and that status is over here on the left hand side again where you can filter through statuses. The last thing you can do in here is if you ever need to make quick setting changes, you can always click on the name of this trip or on that dial and then this will go ahead and open up a new screen so you can change the name, price, and change any high level information in that trip settings without going into that trip builder. So thank you so much for watching and make sure to check out more of our getting started videos.